that will tend to consume that your little income is electricity. Africa, the Africa is NATO. A united people. Never be defeated. A united people. Never be defeated. Comrades, I think a lot has been said. Sometimes I begin to reflect. Most of us know our solidarity song. It means so much. Sometimes when we gather, we don't sing it. If you know the lyrics, you find out that all that we are saying here is embedded in our solidarity, in our solidarity song. It's embedded there. So those who actually compose that song, you know, it has outlived them. And that's what we are still experiencing today. Can we take it on? Yes. When the union's inspiration through the work of God shall run, there can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun. Yet go forth on earth is we got than the people sent to God. But the union makes us strong. Solidarity, solidarity forever. Taking untold millions, but they never going to end. Faith is our friend, some was not a single way can turn. We shall break their haughty power again. Our freedom where we live. All the union makes us strong. Solidarity, solidarity forever. The power greater than their own and good, greater than their might of all is magnified, greater than food. We shall bring to birth a new one from the ashes of the old. How the union makes us strong, solidarity, solidarity forever. For what that belongs to all of us extravagantly. And the Nigerian Labour Congress and the TUC have said, from today, no more business as usual. We are the voice of the workers and we are speaking through our leaders. Henceforth, the government should revisit the issue of neighbor privatization. The way it will pay the workers. We cannot be paying for everything. Our land can never be taxed on everything. Nigerians cannot be paying for everything. Our land can never be taxed or poem tax. We pay for motor, we pay for fuel, we pay for electricity, we pay for our, our salaries. Enough is enough. Free Nigeria of the past to Nigeria of today. Nigeria of the past is where there is scholarship for those who are the leaders of today. Scholarship for education. Nigeria of the past is where you have electricity 24-7. Even your water will become ice blocked. Nigeria of the past is where you have a Greek centers. Nigeria of the past is where you have tractors. It's where you can go to your farm. You have mechanized farm, and you have uh, the farm that you can do to sustain your family. And you go to your farm without fear of attack or without fear of being kidnapped. Nigeria of the past is that one that when we went to school as a nursing student, we were being paid level four salary. We were being paid. And we were even being given food. They will give us lunch, and yet they will also give us uh, in-between meal. 
Now they, they, will, they will even still wash our clothes for us. They will give us uniforms. They give us everything. Nigeria of the past is the one that makes everybody to be very proud to be a Nigerian. But Nigeria of today is a great disconnect to what has happened in Nigeria. Those who are now the leadership of the country, they benefited from Nigeria of the past. But all those benefits, they have withdrawn it from the children of today. From Nigerians of today, they have withdrawn the ladder that they used to climb up. They have already removed this ladder. They have trashed the ladder so that nobody can climb and meet them at that uh, great space up there. The only people that they use the back door ladder, they give it to is their own children because they replicate power within only very few, very, very few uh, privileged Nigerians. And this is why those who are not supposed to have anything to do at the corridor of power, they are now the ones that are now bringing policy which are anti-people's policy. People who does not know how to even run their home, they are not the ones that are the hems of affairs of the nation. The successive government of this country, they have disappointed this generation. The successive government, they have disappointed us. The only thing they know how to do perfectly is corruption. What they are very, very perfect in doing, they have perfected the means of en enshrining corruption in our system from every level, from every level of our system, corruption is being enshrined. To the extent that even our children, our, our generation yet unborn, they are learning a bad thing. What is that bad thing they are learning from the current leadership? They are also learning corruption. That is why you see Yahoo Yahoo. And you see uh, where the EFCC is parading even youths who are not of age. But what? They are already uh, 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 making waves in that aspect. This is the legacy. This is the legacy. This is the legacy that the leadership of this country is bequeathing onto the youth. Today we are out, not for personal reasons, not for the reasons of minimum wage, not for the reason for the worker, but for Nigerians. Why are we out? We are the organized sector, the two labor centers, the NSC and TUC. We have organized. That is why we mobilize our members to come out, to be the voice for the voiceless, to be the strength for the weak in our society, to come out to come and talk on behalf of Nigerians who are on daily basis, they are becoming very tired of the different anti-people uh, policies that government is bringing out on daily basis. These policies are affecting our livelihood. They are affecting our daily uh, as a, a living. And that is why we have to come out to say enough is enough. We can no longer take this. We are becoming tired, and we need to organize. We need to mobilize. We need to sensitize Nigerians, so that Nigerians can also believe that when we come together and we speak with one voice, united we stand, by the, we will never fall. We will be united in our strength, in, our, in the unity lies our strength. And the strength is to talk about all these government and anti people's policies. This particular policy of increasing the tariff in electricity. Is it the electricity that is not even working in this country? Is it the ones that the government will promise us one thing, we will clap for them, and tomorrow they will go back on their words, to eat their words like a dog that will go back to eat. The prepare meters are nowhere. And they give us estimated bill. This estimated bill is killing. You will not see light, and yet you have to pay. If you don't pay for darkness, they will come and uh, 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 they, they will come and uh, they will come and disconnect.
your light. They will still come and disconnect your light. It's high time. We are calling on NEPA and government. If this is what the legacy want to bequeath to us, we are rejecting this legacy. Back to send it by fire. We are sending it back to our government by fire. In fact, Nigerians want to say it unequivocally. The government can remove all their wires. The line that they used to provide darkness. Darkness. Let them remove it. We no longer want Nigerian light, light again. Yes. Maybe we should go to South Africa to go and purchase light because shame, shame, shame on our leaders. Shame, 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 shame on our leaders. Shame. If in the Republic of Benin, if they want to take their light, they will announce on the radio. They will announce on the television. When we were growing up, it's the same thing in Nigeria. But they do it without impunity now. They do it without having any atom of shame in their system. They just take light and bring light as if they are playing with a uh, with toy in Nigeria. How can we be doing this? And we are claiming we are to, with the giant of Africa. We are saying enough is enough. We can no longer continue to tolerate this injustice against Nigerians. And we want to use opportunity as we are here. This is going on right now at uh, Marina Eco Electricity Distribution Company. We have also gone to uh, Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission at Joby Fele Way. We, are so, we have also gone to number 61, Odulami Street, another NERC office. And our people are still in Marina as we are also here. We divided ourselves into those four places. And uh, throughout the whole country, 36 states of Nigeria, and also the center, Abuja, Nigeria Labor Congress and TUC, we have occupied. 